promised sparkling results in three months, saying anything less would be an insult to passengers. How many cleaners does it take to keep our trains tidy? Well, the elbow grease isn't adding up at the moment for the Premier. Everywhere I go, passengers tell me that they want their trains cleaner than they are. To combat the most unpleasant of City Rail experiences, the number of roving cleaner teams will be increased by half to 93 staff, almost $2.5 million to make City Rail shine. And we expect them to start actually physically out on the system within a matter of six to eight weeks' time. Their first job, the dirtiest stations on the network. 15 hotspots have been identified, the most complained about stations, from Sydney to the Hunter and Illawarra. There's no excuse for dirty trains. Uh, passengers shouldn't have to accept it. I'm determined to fix it. Ironic, claims the opposition, because Railcorp wants 600 fewer station staff, the very people already keeping our stations clean. Taking staff off railway stations will worsen the tidiness, the vandalism and the graffiti. While City Rail's taking out the trash, it's also been accused of clogging up our suburbs. Complaints are growing at places like here at Epping, where commuters are forced to park their cars and walk to the train station. Uh, a lot of horns, a lot of people abusing each other on the road. And no parking for the people who live here. The problems have intensified since the opening of the well-patronised Epping Chatswood link. 80% of the people that have parked their cars here now are people for the train station. A new station with no car park, with a simple answer from the man at the top. Uh, plenty of service by buses for those stations. Josh Murphy, 10 News.